And April is Financial Literacy <laughs> Awareness Month, but earlier this year, DC received a failing grade when it came to teaching our young ones about financial literacy. Yeah, the nation's report card of financial literacy rates dates based on money courses and also the ways they teach students how to make money, invest cash, save for retirement, and give charitable donations. Maryland scored a B on its report card. The state requires students to take financial literacy instruction, but does not provide a standalone personal finance course. Now, Virginia leads the class on financial literacy assignment. It earned an A. Students are required to complete standalone money classes to graduate. That F for DC did not stand for finance. This week, U.S. House of Representatives co-chairs from the Congressional Financial Literacy and Wealth Creation Caucus, Joyce Beatty and Young Kim, are teaming up for a free event on educational financial education at the Cannon Office Building. They're calling it Banking on the Future Through Financial Education. And earlier today, Congresswoman Anand Beatty and I caught up about it. When we look at some of the data right here in Washington, D.C., with many of our adults, it's not where we would like it to be. So hopefully this will also provide information to young adults, to those who work with financial literacy uh, programs. We're extending an invitation to many local organizations so they can come and get engaged and maybe get tools that will help them take it back to their organization. Those individuals who might be getting their very first job and they will know how to save their dollars, how to invest their dollars. They'll also understand words that are so important when people say amortization, when people say how much interest it is, paying on the principal. So it's more than just balancing a checkbook is making you comfortable with banking and finance. And at the end of the day, hopefully we'll be able to teach people how to invest, how to create wealth. And so what's gonna happen at the event and then after the event? Cause it's kind of like going to the gym. You don't just walk into the gym one day and get all beach ready. It, it, it's a process with financial it literacy is. too. It, it is definitely a process and it's a two way process. It's a process for those who are coming to get information, education, awareness, and look at some of the toolkits that will be provided for them. But it's also an opportunity for bipartisan organizations working together to present information to help those who are in need. And I think that's what it's all about. It's encouraging people to get the information. And you're right. It's like going to the gym. You go and you work out and you finish. Well, then you have to figure out how do you bridge that with other things? And that's what we're trying to do. How unique is that to have an event in the Cannon Office building so close to the Capitol that's actively inviting the DC community in? It doesn't seem like that happens that often. I think this is exciting. I think it will put a positive twist on the Congress, a positive twist that we do more than what so often they see on TV and they hear about. We want people to know that we believe in them. And there's so much data out there about the need for more financial literacy. They'll be able to walk through the halls, see members of Congress and take away something that hopefully will make a difference. We'll see you on Thursday at 11, Cannon Office Building. Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, thanks Thank for you. making time and joining We're us. We're really today. excited. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Congresswoman. You realize, like, I didn't, we didn't learn that stuff in school. Speak for yourself. Okay. I did. Okay, no, well, I'm there just you playing. go. <laughs> I'm just playing dumb. Product of the Pennsylvania public school system over here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, they do need to do a much better job. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll see a difference in the future if they start doing a better job at teaching kids now. Absolutely.